Hey guys, what's up? Today I wanted to make this video um, explaining for you laptop users who have like the lower end laptops how you can set up Overwatch to perform pretty pretty nicely with how can you get the best uh, quality slash performance and basically with my laptop which is a GeForce GT 650M graphics card uh, Core i5 3210M and 6 gigabytes RAM with the proper settings I am able to play this game pretty comfortably at about 50 to 70 uh, FPS and it's really good looking but you need to set up some things correctly and you need to know some uh, some stuff that I'm gonna I'm gonna basically explain you in this video so first of all I'm gonna hop on into the game and I'm gonna show you exactly what settings I use with my laptop that I that I that I told you and um, yeah you're gonna see exactly those settings and then I'm gonna give you further recommendations uh, about setting this game uh, in, in the best way so let's hop into the game without further ado okay so here we go um, I'm gonna show you exactly the settings you need to set for the best quality slash performance basically copy everything you see here you want 720p Field of view doesn't really matter, it can be like this, this this really doesn't matter. You go graphics quality advanced, you basically want to copy everything you see here. Render scale is huge if it's about the looks of the game. Uh, you want about 100. If you're gonna have a lower end graphics card, unfortunately you're gonna have to go lower than this. And uh, yeah, but on a GT650M I can, I can deal with 100%. And basically copy everything else you see here and you you should be good to go so okay i'm gonna tap out and show you what else you have to do uh, yeah i wanted to also add one thing uh, that is also uh, very important for performance basically uh, i mentioned that uh, the thermal the temperature of your laptop is very important for the performance because of thermal throttling and your laptop is always gonna kind of inhale air from one place and exhaust in another and if you if you don't want your laptop to get too hot you need to make sure that both the ways every laptop is different you need to make sure that the ways laptop inhale and exhale air are completely free they can't be blocked sometimes your laptop will inhale uh, air from below your laptop but you you will just put it on a flat surface in that case you need to solve the problem by putting something under your laptop so it's kind of a little higher so 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 you know the airflow is smooth and you and the temperature of your laptop will be lower I'll put also a video down below showing you uh, an example of what I'm talking about. But this is also really important if you want to increase the, uh, the 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 performance of this game on on your laptop. Okay, so now that you know my settings, I'm gonna show you this thread that I found on 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 Blizzard's forums. It's called "Laptop Users: How I Doubled My FPS." This is a really good thread, really good thread. I'm going to put the link down below so you can check it out. And it's basically a guy explaining uh, also how he had a laptop and he basically uh, following these tips that uh, what he, he what he wrote here, he basically went from 720p, 75% render scale, all options disabled, 35 60 fps to this, to 720p, 100% high textures, high models. 60 80 fps and in this thread you you, you have everything that he said uh, basically and it has to all uh, a lot of it has to do with thermal throttling of your laptop if your laptop gets hot then the performance of your laptop will get lower but he set up his cpu and gpu settings in a way that it doesn't get overheated so where you set up your um cpu settings you go you if i got windows 8 you 
right click desktop personalize you go display brightness and you, you'll have a power plan you want to click change plan settings change advanced power settings and you'll get here to power options and he in that thread he explained what do you have to set up here to make your CPU not to get too hot and to not get into turbo boost so you want to set that up correctly and it's about I think it was processor power management you want to set it up uh, maximum yeah this is what I have Intel graphics yeah you'll just read the I'll put the, the the topic in the description below the second thing that he recommends is to go into Nvidia Nvidia settings and also doing some some, some stuff here so you'll just read what he says and uh, basically that is all you have to do if you do these steps and you don't get you'll definitely get more performance in the overwatch but if you are not able to uh, you know play it comfortably then you know there are some hardware limitations if your graphics card is really garbage then you know there's only so much you can do but these, these are things that really helped me a lot and uh, I hope these things helped you as well and if it did then if, the, you, if you think this video was remotely useful for you then I would be grateful for a thumbs up or a, or, or a subscription. Thank you for watching that. That's all I have to say.